Bards are an archetype that are meant to inspire their allies and disheartened enemies with extraordinary repertoire of abilities encompassing the arts of music, song, dance, and storytelling. These entertainers excel at amplifying strengths and exploiting weaknesses, making them a rock-solid yet flexible pillar of support for any adventuring party. With their mesmerizing melodies and wondrous weaving of soul-stirring tales, bards leave a lasting impression on friends and foes alike. Choosing a bard archetype is just the beginning of your journey. Ashes of Creation has a unique take on classes, and while the bard at its core is this music playing, buff giving support you might expect, what truly defines a class in Ashes of Creation is the combination of the primary archetype and secondary archetype coming together to give you 8 potential classes for each of the primary archetypes. For the bard, these combinations include the minstrel being a bard bard, the soul weaver being a bard cleric, the tell sword being a bard fighter, the magician being a bard mage, the soul warden being a bard ranger, the trickster being a bard rogue, the song caller being a bard summoner, and the siren being a bard tank. The primary archetype you choose upon character creation is a permanent choice. The secondary archetype unlocked through player progression around level 25 will augment the primary archetype, changing up the types of abilities, their appearance, and how they interact with your targets. However, the secondary archetype does not add new skills. It's all about the augments, which allow players to fully customize their playstyle. Keep in mind that everything we know about the bard and other archetypes is a work in progress. Ashes of Creation is in an alpha state and things could change as Intrepid continue to react and iterate upon player feedback. Most abilities will be unlocked through careful selection in the skill tree. You won't have a hundred different abilities in your spellbook, and Intrepid wants you to make thoughtful choices within these trees to cater to your playstyle. Skill points upon full implementation are said to unlock every fraction of a level, rather than once per level like most games. You'll be able to use these points to gain access to new abilities or upgrade existing ones, and the skill tree we see now is suited for a level cap of 25, as that is the Alpha 2 Phase 1 cap, but everything is subject to change as abilities evolve throughout testing. The Bard abilities we know so far. Anthem of Alacrity grants a target ally a 25% increase in their attack speed and casting speed for 10 seconds. Cathartic Melody gives nearby party members a 25% chance to heal themselves for 50% of the damage dealt. Cheerful Melody increases healing received by nearby party members by 15% and provides a light heal every 2 seconds. Chilling Lament deals ice damage to a target and applies a chilled effect, dealing bonus damage to frozen targets. Conflict increases the physical power of nearby party members by 10% for 30 seconds, generating a theme of tragedy. Dark Lullaby deals spirit damage to target, with the final hit stunning the target for 6 seconds if they are incapacitated. Epic Melody increases the movement speed of nearby party members by 20%. Flourish slides forward in aim direction, turning off collision and grants pep. Gambit transfers life to or from a target party member depending on who has lower health without reducing either player below 25% health. Get off the stage, knocks back enemies, dealing bludgeon damage and applying snare and disarm effects. Lovely Serenade heals a target ally every second with the final hit applying glee. Maddening Dance deals arcane damage and dispels one of the buffs on nearby enemies, applying humiliated to targets that are demoralized. Menacing Melody increases the damage multiplier of nearby party members by 10%. Mesmerizing Dance mesmerizes all nearby enemies, applying incapacitated and stunned if they were already staggered. Nimble Dance grants nimble and pep while cleansing one debuff from allies. Pensive Melody restores mana to nearby party members with multiple instances of Melody not stacking. Quick Wit heals a target ally and applies glee or damages an enemy and applies demoralized. Saga consumes your current themes to create a story on the battlefield. The story told depends on the combination of themes used. The one we know so far is called Apocalypse, conjuring three themes of the tragedy to depict the fabled event. Enemies in front of you will be hit with 150% fire damage, burning and afflicting with Shaken. A lingering zone of flames will be left behind, dealing 30% fire damage each second for 8 seconds. Shielding Dance heals allies and applies a shield to targets as they enter the dance radius. You might have noticed in a few of these abilities, they have reference to different themes, such as the theme of mystery, the theme of comedy and the theme of tragedy. 
Themes are a unique class resource exclusive to the bard archetype, and each theme provides different buffs to the bards, such as tragedy increasing damage done by 5%. These themes can then be consumed to create powerful effects with the Saga ability. The bard in Ashes of Creation has certainly caught my attention with this blend of DPS healing and support capabilities, while it is still clearly a support first class, and DPS and healing come secondary to it, but it does have a lot of potential. I'm excited to see how the class augment system in Phase 3 of Alpha 2 might allow bards to branch into different roles or amplify their buffs in new ways. Regardless though, the bard looks very well designed for its early alpha state, and I can't wait to play it when the Alpha 2 servers go live on October 25th.